Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we have a video on something that I think is super important to not just Halo, but you know, the whole Halo community, and it revolves around 343 and I guess communication and transparency. It seems like we had our monthly Halo Infinite updates leading up to the game, and they provided a lot of great insight into what Halo Infinite was going to be. But really, it seems since the game has launched and all the issues and problems that, for the most part, the communication from 343 has been kind of lacking. Now, I understand that there's been a lot of problems, a lot of issues, a lot of people leaving, a lot of changes in plans. And some may argue that they wouldn't have any good news to share anyways. But to me, I think having an open line of communication with your player base is super important. Before we get into why, we are so close to 10k subs. We're less than 200 away. And at 10k, I will have a 10,000 sub montage. I'm going to go ahead and play a clip real quick. Just a little teaser. But yeah, I feel like with everything that's been happening with Halo Infinite, we've had so many leaks, Forge, and, you know, all the unearthed content from that, that has actually made people super excited. We have other content creators, you know, talking about leaks and, uh, you know, insider information and things like that. And that really seems to be like the most positive things coming out of Halo. And it's not from 343. I would absolutely love to see the monthly updates, like what we got before the game released. I know we have cannon fodder and, you know, like a monthly roundup of news and things like that. But I would love to see like a really structured, detailed write-up of what is going on in Halo Infinite, what they're working towards. I know a lot of people will be like, they can't put dates on things, you know, times change and everything's subject to change. But I think it would actually go a long way into helping you know, smooth over the surfaces with the more hardcore population that's really left playing the game. We really do need stuff to look forward to. The next event coming out is the Yappening, and I think the only hint that we've had are from leaks, and then I think Joe Staten in like a podcast interview said something about it coming back, but other than that, we haven't seen anything, and I'm pretty sure it comes out next month. I know it's hard to open up, you know, a line of communication between a developer, a studio, and the player base, and a lot of people will say that it can only lead to negative interactions, but I think radio silence is way more detrimental to the game. It's so weird to me that we have this unreleased, leaked version of Forge, and like literally nobody has said anything about it from 343 other than like a few devs talking about how excited they are, but I wish they would lean into it and talk about it, you know, the features coming and stuff. And honestly, what worries me the most when there's radio silence is that there's going to be more bad news. Maybe they didn't really mean for this version of Forge to be included in the co-op flight, and they never thought that people would find it or to use it. And they see how excited people are. And maybe internally, you know, Forge is having a rough go. Maybe it's not going to make its deadline. Maybe there's some huge bugs or issues, and that's why they're not saying anything. I feel like everything is reactive from 343 and there's no proactive communication going on. Let me know in the comments down below your opinions on that. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!